Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to explore one of the exciting features in Power Platform that is build and run custom prompts inside Power Platform. You must have been hearing uh, about Copilot in Power Platform and you know like it can generate text summary structured output for us. But uh, with a new feature of build prompt, we can actually design our own AI instructions tailored to the business needs. So I will explain about this feature and why it's important and we'll walk through one, one of the use case where like I'll step by step dives in how we can build and use the AI prompt into Power Auto. So first of all, like what is prompts? You are in your Power Apps, like you can log in with make.powerapps.com and over here you can go to more. You will find that you have this discover all section you can go inside and you you may find this AI Builder AI Hub option over there. Click on that and you will land to your AI Hub page. And uh, if you have a license to use the AI Hub, then you will directly over, able to see it. Otherwise, if you don't have, you can actually request a free trial license so that you can try the features of AI Hub. And for our today's video, we'll be more talking about this prompt. So if I click on this prompt, so it lands me to a page that where I can build my own prompts and I can use the popular templates. Think it as of personalized Copilot brain where you define your kind of output you want. Example, sum summarizing text, extracting data, generating response. And instead of writing one-time AI prompts, you can build the prompts which can be reused anywhere into your Power Automate or Power Apps in future also. And that can be shareable as well. Like you can share across the team. So over here, you can see like I have these templates. If you want to take a look on all the templates, you can click on the see all templates. You can see like uh, default prompts are given like uh, summarize text, extract information from text, classify text, respond to complaint. For example, like uh, you are a customer support team and you want to respond to the emails incoming from customers regarding in a personalized way then you can have this prompt in place so craft a response to achieve and we can bind it to a dynamic input text being mindful of its tone context well subject response and you can define all your instructions within the instruction section and choose the model you want to like uh, bind it to so the basic one is gpt 4.1 mini and then you can go for the premium as well we go through the more research model and we have the multiple models to be bind like if you have azure foundry models and you are using some other different model you can connect to a different model as well so for our demo like we are good with this default basic gpt 4.1 mini model and you can test this model how it's behaving here in the test playground itself where you can just click on this text and you will see that model response would generate something Thank you for reaching out and sharing your experience. Sincerely apologize for inconvenience caused by missing complimentary item. So this sort of prompt like which is already built into this repository, you can use that in your Power Automate or Power Apps directly. And we'll take a use case. Also like uh, where one of the use case, we want our all the company survey to send to craft a summarized email for the senior management where they can look where they can look at the employee engagement or satisfaction survey what are the key areas they can work on what are the key areas the employees are happy on so that scenario we will just in our demo will execute and you can actually like take a look on all these existing templates for example extract information from a document or image so pretty much handy one so you would like to just extract or summarize the content which is inside any of your document or from image maybe like you want to read the data from an unstructured paragraph in the email and want to put that into a structured database like SharePoint list or data was table then you can use these already built in prompts and once you create your own template and you save and publish it it will be ready to be used across your environment in your power automate or flows directly so let's let's start with one of the simplest use case that is extract information from document i will just use this one extract information from a document so you can rename this because i'm going to save this from this template so i will just rename that extract info from pdf so i will name that because i'm going to upload one document over here so it will extract the specified entities from the provided document and you can have that stored into sharepoint or dataverse like any structured database wherever you want 
so the result would be giving uh, the output would be resulted into json so that like you can interpret that json and save that into any sharepoint list so over here you can test if you just click on this test and and we got this output into json with the all the details extracted from the document so you can modify based on your requirements so i will say like extract info from pdf and let's say it could be a any other free pdf let's say like it's a contract document where you want to extract the information out of your supplier information and you can specify that information whatever mm -hmm. fields you are expecting or entities you are expecting out of the document so you can create it and for our use case i will take one of the prompt which i've just recently created i will just show you like what that prompt is so if you scroll down to the bottom you will find that i have this analyze employee satisfaction survey prompt and if i click on it so it's a detailed prompt which i have been using to analyze the employee satisfaction survey out of my this research survey result which is as part of input text to analyze the employee satisfaction survey result identify the key areas of improvement workplace culture and generate a professional email and do clean html and i have specified the html what i am expecting out of that pdf or response document so you can elaborate your entire detailed prompt over here so that we you get a response expected response out of it so when i say when i want to use this one then i can go to my this power automate and i will create one new power automate one flow which can actually do this analysis of my survey results so i will start using this prompts into my flow so i will start creating an instant cloud flow and i will choose a manual trigger but you can have this trigger on some specific scheduled date because once your survey results are out i mean you have or has been sent to you in a pdf then you can run this trigger so over here to start with like i want to read my this document again this reading of the document i will take help of ai capability that is again like extract information out of my document so i will say extract information from this contract so though like it says contract but it actually helps you extract out the information into the text the plain text and which can be passed to your prompt or the ai build prompt where like it can use that prompt to extract or to craft the email message out of that pdf file so over here to pass the file path so you can read that file from any sharepoint library so i will say get file content using path and i will provide the path which is one of my sharepoint document library that contains that pdf result file so i will use that and i will go to my document library and choose that the analysis the survey employee survey pdf file so that i can get the result out of it so in the next step the first step get file content using path and then extract information over here i will provide the file content and once the file content is provided to ai extract information from contract action then we can read the content of that file so over here i will use one compose action so that i can append all the text which is there into my pdf file so that that text can be passed to my intern prompt which we have built for analyze employee satisfaction survey so over here i will say input as an expression i will click on this fx and in expression i have already built one expression that is is joining of all the tax information so i will extract information from my this previous step that is extract information of my contract action body and i will extract all the root of this the body content which gives me a text attribute and i am appending all the attribute so that i can in turn get all the text at once in a concatenated fashion so i will use this expression into this input pass this I will paste this expression in description. If you wish to have the same use case, then you can use it. So I will say add. And once we added it, now the next thing is run a prompt. So I am going to run this prompt which we have built. So I will say run a prompt action. 
and in this run a prompt you can able to see all the prompts which we have already created so this is the prompt which we are going to run so i will say analyze employee satisfaction so if you want to still personalize something then you can just edit this one i did this prompt here in the power automate window itself just modify whatever modification you wish to have this in prompt and then again you can directly use it so over here though like i have i included everything a detailed prompt so i will just close this and will directly use this one and in the survey result which is an input so over here if i go back to my prompt then you will see like survey result is the input which this instruction expects so i will provide this survey result input which is a text area from my pdf file so i will use this compose action output which is a detailed text of my this uh, employee survey result and as in file final action as i want to send it to my senior management so that they can review the output of my survey result so i will use this send an email and will use any of the existing email address right now i will just choose my email address to myself specify this employee satisfaction survey and in the body i will use the output of my this run a prompt which we got after running our prompt instruction so now we are good i will just give it a name so esr flow and i will just do a test run so my flow is running it extracted it read out that file extracted the information from that file and now it's composing concatenating all the text and then finally it run a prompt and which resulted into the output so if you click on the show raw output you will see the entire output into this window and if finally if i go to my this last action then send an email it must have sent an email to the provided address so i will open that email box i open my email box and i could see like i have this email that is whatever instruction i have provided to craft this email it has crafted it based on the survey result we have identified several key areas of improvement recognition training opportunities and id support team with a closing statement so this is how we built this power automate using this prompt in few minutes of time which actually like automated our most of the stuff which we wanted to analyze the survey result so that's how easy it is to build and run any custom prompts in power automate any power platform so we understood what the build prompt feature is and we saw how we can create any prompt and use that into power automate so actually this feature opens up endless possibilities where you can design prompts for hr finance team id support team anyone and even for yourself for example if you wish to like have a prompt or the ai feature to summarize all the emails related to your project which you are working on this week so you can automate of uh, automate creation of weekly summary reports for that project related stuff so you can create a prompt which will grab all your emails related to the project uh, you want to highlight the, with the project name then it will peek into your email boxes into your chats as well to categorize to take all the tasks which you have worked on categorize with the completion status or with the not started and then can send out an email to your project manager or your senior leadership team so you can enhance the productivity or like uh, cut out the time which you are actually doing manual stuff for building out some of the reports some of the surveys or some of other generic features so if you find this video helpful then please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching